Welcome back, Print World, to another tutorial on printing on foil balloons. Today, I'm working in Corel Draw using Smart Designer. Um, like I said, one of my previous uh, videos, I talked about if you're not a graphic designer, you don't have designs um, to do do your job, or if you don't have an artist that can do something on the fly for you but here's is here is a a template in smart design it works within corrals pretty easy to use um not too many challenges for yourself if you're not a savvy corral user um like myself but if you got here's, here's some basic tools in here that you can use to be successful um and there's one design um they have several designs I'm bringing this up a little close so you guys can see. It has several designs within here, so I just chose chose one, and I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to work inside of um, Corel. So the artwork is inside. Um, I got it up to 58%. So you got so you guys can see. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Um, you go here. All I want to do is change Roosevelt to uh, say Davenport. All right, Davenport High School graduate class. And we're just gonna say, grad year, we're gonna make that uh, 2022, right? Bam, if you wanted to change out, uh, if you guys can see, if you wanted to change out the uh, 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 mascot, you can just go there, change it, and you go here, um, you go into uh, clip arts, and your graphic browser, and you drop, you browse the clip arts till you find the one that you want to put it in, and you add. Um, what else make this 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 software so unique? If I want to change the colors in this design, it's going to show you the last the last color that I was working with at the time. Now when I open it up, it's going to have the colors in here. So if I wanted to change these colors, all I have to do is change these colors to whatever my color chart is going to be. Over here to the side, you have your Pantone Pantone solid colors, and you have your. Uh, uh, let me get back to it. And this is your go your Pantone go colors. So the Pantone go colors is going to allow to give you a. a variety of different colors you just have to print the color chart and within this software it gives you the option to go and and look at and download up the, the color chart so you can see and match the colors to the best to the best color possible for what the customer is looking for based on the school um, the school colors and you can kind of match it up as close as possible with those colors so this artwork is ready to go is ready to go for whatever type of um, process you have. If you were screen printing, you can set this up for spot colors, uh, all sorts of things to get it print ready for the next event. So it's just this software is like I say, is amazing. It's, it's amazing. So um, separation, color separations, separation marks. All of the stuff that you need for screen printing, you can do this here. And this thing is ready to submit to whatever company that you use and is all set up for them to print out already. So soft, major, major stuff. Um, I, I suggest that you guys look into this graphic flow um, and these guys can help you out with this. All right. So I'm about to send this over to the I'm about to send this over as a print. It's already grouped together, so I don't need it. Um, we're going to keep it at this, uh, for the balloon purpose, we want to make it a little smaller because we're only working with about a five inch space. Oh, oh, look at me. Get this back together. Um, let's group this together. Now we want to pull up our... foil balloon so this is what we're working with for the foil okay this is a diamond i guess you want to call it all right octagon potagon whatever one of those gongs right so i'm working with my width 
I have on this balloon is 17 inches wide. So we don't need it to be that big. And from top to bottom, I only have to where the tubing, I don't know if you can see it, but on the bottom where the air goes into the balloon, you have a, if you cut that, if you seal that, the balloon is not gonna um, process. So if you have a, the Hotronic Press, um, 16 by 16 by 16 or 16 by 20, whatever one you have, it lets you read out the time, pressure, and temperature. Um, for this to work, and I tried it using the um, different methods. So I'm gonna be using um, the two-step paper, A and B paper by Easy Peel by Codesi. And, I'm a, and that has to be pressed at, um, at 320 for 75 seconds. So once I mirror those two together, then the second print, when I print it onto the foil balloon, is going to be pressed at 210 um, for, 10, for 12 seconds. So I'm going to go over to my press, and I'm going to set my press up to 320. Set my time for 75 seconds. This if you're using Codesi's two-step paper. The days of press that, like I said, 320 for 75 seconds. Right? And then you do that. So as I'm prepping, I'm gonna prep the design. I already got the four ready to go. And I'm gonna keep these same colors. So what we're working with, like I said, we want to make sure this is no bigger, no wider than we're going to go about. We're going to go about seven inches wide and about three to four inches tall. So. So we're right where we need to be. We're going to stay right there and see how this come out. We are right about three point nine, right about four. And we're sitting at six inches wide. That should be plenty enough. For what we need so i'm gonna export the file out of corel and i'm gonna go to my documents where i do my my sample folder and we're just gonna name this grad 2022 all right so the png is ready Tra no transparent background right now I'm gonna take it over to the print optimizer. So everybody pretty much has the optimizer. Everybody optimizer kind of work the same based on what system you have. Um, but I'm working with this system. So I gotta go ahead and make some changes. Because my last print I was working with, I turned the white off, no white under base. So I need to go back in here and turn my white under base back on. So I'm printing this design. I can go ahead and remove this out of my queue. And now I'm gonna go ahead and import. Let's go ahead and import the design that we just made. All right, we're gonna move it up to the top. Uh, let's center it, right? We're going to raster it a little bit and see what we're going to rip it and see where we at. Um, not so much do you have to um, rip it or for rasterization because it's going on um, foil. It's not going on on the garment. So you don't really need to let it breathe. But I still like to uh, just to see how it looks and make sure I'm I'm tracking um, and let some of the so that it sticks better. To, not sticks. I'm, I meant to say that it adhered to the um, foil itself. So it looks good here, it's all good there, right? So we're gonna print, go ahead and print this bad boy out while the printer is heating up to temperature and, um, and we're gonna get this thing rolling. So what we're gonna do is print two copies cause we're gonna put it on two sides. So we hit a copy and we're just gonna separate it. 
That way we got enough space. And let's go ahead and send that boy over to the printer. Going to the printer, I'm grabbing my A and B paper. See, easy peel. It's just, this is the B sheet. I'm waiting on, the, well, lost power. Sorry about that, we're back. I'm not gonna waste no more paper, so I kinda got one of them printed. The other one smeared a little bit, but we still gonna use this for example. So, got my A and B paper back together. My press is still heating up. I don't know what caused the power to shut off, um, but we'll get our electrician to look into that. But, in the meantime, when my printer load back up, I need to, I know I have some ink smear. And I'm gonna have to clean out I'm at the clean the, the smearing part. I know I'm at the clean it. Oh, power went out again. What is going on? What you got on there, Kyle? What do you got on? What you got plugged up in there?
close to temperature. All right, so let's go ahead and get this bottom press heated. With the Easy Peel paper, you, you want to make sure your bottom plate, now unless you have the fusion pull out, uh, they kind of hover over the um, bottom platen to heat it up. So in my case, I have to drop down the shell clamp, clamp it down a little bit to make sure that is um, that, that is heating up before you marry your A and B paper together. So put a little cover sheet over it. We're gonna let that clamp down for 75 seconds, hoping that the power doesn't go out again. And then once, like I say, once this mirroring section part is over, we're gonna we're gonna take this, uh, let it marry together for 75 seconds. We got 55 and counting, and then I'm gonna separate it, cut the sheets in half, and then I'm gonna bring it down, bring the temperature down to 220. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 210, and then I'm uh, for 12 seconds, and then we're gonna um, test the balloon out and see what happens. Had a sample balloon I want to show you guys, but we're gonna go ahead, take that down, peel, real smooth and easily, right? Got to release itself. Now, throw the excess away. We're gonna trim this real quick, and just we're gonna. Go ahead and press this onto the balloon. And we're just doing a sample. We can make this, this design a lot bigger, but we just made it smaller for testing purpose, okay? So like I said, we're gonna bring this down to 210. That's what I found to work with easy peel paper is 210 for 12 seconds. So if you don't have a heat press that have that can show you the the time, temp, and pressure pressure, I advise you. I totally, I strongly advise you to go out and get one of those. But if you can't afford it right away, it's okay. Um, just find a way where you can check your time, temperature, and pressure. That way, you're always getting a good press on everything that you do, even with your heat transfers, heat transfer vinyl. I mean, heat transfers that you use out there. If you out there screen printing using screen printing transfers. Everybody has a set time and temperature, temp, set time, temp, set time, temperature, and pressure based off their heat press that they're testing this, those those um, transfers papers with. So yours may not be the same as their that what they're using. So you have to make sure that you're using the same thing. So as this come down, um, I'm gonna get the balloon prepped up so we're not pressing on it. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Like I said, there's a tube inside of there. It's, it stops about right there. The line is about right in this area right here. So if you press that, like I said, the balloon is not going to blow. So you want to get that off the heat press as much as you can, right? You don't want that on the heat press at all. So you're going to take the design and you're going to lay it in the middle or the paper, then we're gonna press it again, like I said, for 12 seconds. Once we get down to our desired temperature, and then we're gonna blow it up. So I'm gonna go run it and grab some tools to blow the balloon up. Um, a balloon blower, and I'll be back. And you can go check out my wife on Next Level Balloons. Um, that's where she does her balloon things on YouTube. So Next Level Balloons. So 
we have a balloon business, um, heat transfer vinyl, uh, white toner. Uh, I have a, some of you guys seen my RI3000 digital, digital printer. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a little on its sick side right now um, until I repair it and get it back up running. And um, in the future, I'll be talking about the embroidery machine. It's coming soon. Spot right there for it, right there in the corner. Yeah, that's our spot. So as soon as that girl, as soon as that girl get here, we're gonna start talking about embroidery and how to do embroidery. I'm learning and um, I'm trying to grow and I'm, I'm, I'm diving all the way in people. Um, some people say you shouldn't do it till your revenue is up or you're making money. Um, I, I'm going ahead and, you know, I'm a sink or swim. And, and, my, and my goal is to, to, to swim. All right. So I'll be back. Hold up. Okay, we almost there. We ready to and get it going. I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and show you the balloon thing real quick. Show you what's going on in this world of ours. Some of you guys may like this or not. Check this out. This is one I did earlier, okay? Um, we're not promoting Princess, what's her name? But we're just using an example. So if you know anyone in the Davenport area or the Orlando area, my wife does balloons. So check it out. Or if you're looking for a stuffed balloon, we do those as well. Look us up, check us out. Get back to the shop. Get back to where the magic happens. All right, almost there, we're getting there. If you got any questions, put them in the, um, in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back out to you guys and answer those questions. Also, um, subscribe and like, share. Um, sharing is caring, you know. I share knowledge to other people that are struggling just like we are to uh, to learn and understand this white toner um, printing situation so we can all get better and and be successful um, and grow together. Um, the pond is so big and there's a lot of a lot of fish out there, a lot of people, right? Just like there's a ton of ta Targets, there's a ton of Walmarts, there's a ton of uh, Sam's, Lowe's, um, Costco's, you name it, right? It's all over. They're all competing um, for sales and business. So same thing with um, body shops. I was getting my car repaired and um, the guy was telling me the, they get they get rewarded and bonus based on um, 
customer surveys. So if you're getting your car service um, and they send you out those surveys, um, that help out that business um, to grow and compete with they um, with their peers for awards. Um, at the end of the day, it's not that they you know that they get bonuses because they they are doing well and people are liking them or whatnot. But that helped their business. And the same thing with our business. You know, let's share, let's like, let's support one another um, so we can build up our um, audience and, um, and people can learn from us and others um, to be successful at what we do. Um, again, um, I'm, it's a learning curve for me. And I'm, like I said, I'm all in. Um, I just completed an order for a gentleman, um, um, Valor Realtor. Um, outsourcing some um, embroidery for his, for things that I do. Um, but um, like I said, I'm getting our embroidery. We're getting our... Last time I put my pin in, the power shut down. So I'm going to wait this time and see. Um, this video taking a little longer than it should. It should have been about a 15-minute video. We 30 min we're almost 30 minutes into this video. Um, just to show you guys what a... How to print on a foil balloon using the Oki 8432 white toner printer. Two-step two step paper. Um, easy peel by Codesi. All right. Um, we're going to marry this at, uh, we married it at both the A and B paper at 370, at 320 for 75 seconds. And normally if you're printing on a garment, you'll press it for 45 seconds. All right. And then you'll hit it with another press for 55 seconds. Um, after you peel it, after you remove the, the transfer off, the cover, the cover sheet off, then you will press it again um, to get that shine and clearness away. Um, it's taking a little bit of time to uh, go from 320 down to, two, to uh, 210. So we're at 270, so let's give it a little bit more time. And... Um, once you get down to where she needs to be, then we'll go ahead and press. We'll go ahead and press. In the meantime, I'm going to turn on a little music for you guys. And I don't write to none of this music. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Play some R&B music. Don't own the rights to none of this music that's playing in the background.
All right, 256. It's coming down.
Almost there, people. We're down to 223. Almost there. Embroidery coming. Embroidery coming. Rotary coming. They're coming, people. They're coming. Six more seconds, four more seconds, and we'll be in the operation. All right, so we're there. So let's go ahead and press this real quick. Where we, where we need to be. And we're just gonna do for 12 seconds. Now, while the, when it, one thing I find out found out is when I was doing this when I first tried it that it started to come up when I was removing the backing from off the um, balloon it was starting to come up so what I did was just repress it for like two or three seconds and then I tried it but I've tried to find an angle on the foil itself to so it can peel a little a lot easier it kind of cools real fast, so you can start peeling right, moving, removing it right away. And like I say, like here we are. We have a problem on the edge right here. It wants to come up a little bit. So I'm gonna just press it again for another two, three seconds. Seconds, right? I got it at 12. 
but we can bo boost it up to maybe 10, maybe 13, somewhere around there. So like I say, it's cooling real fast. So I'm gonna try it from a different angle and go, uh, just like weeding, you wanna weed into the um, numbers. So we're gonna try it from this side and see what happens. We're gonna weed into the design. And like I said, there you go, you have it printed on Ford using the two-step paper. Like I said, this, this took a little longer than normal in this video um, because the power went out like three or four times. But if you're watching this video, just stick through it and you'll, you'll see the rewarding thing at the end. So let me figure this out. It's not my forte right here. Let me figure this out. The balloon expert is at work, so I can't ask her to help me out. So, got it in there. Trying to find a hole. Blow this up. There you have it. Using a white toner printer, printing on foil balloons. If you're using the 84 Oki 32 and Easy Peel One Step Paper from Kodesi, here's your tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click, and like, and share.